Hi, I'm Grace here at the Zappos headquarters in Las Vegas. If you haven't heard of them before, Zappos is an online clothing and shoe company known for their happy employees as well as amazing customer service. Today I'm here with John Wolski. He is the culture evangelist for Zappos Insights, which is a department, a part of the Zappos family, uh, basically created to share the Zappos culture with the rest of the world. Thanks so much, John, for being here with us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Great. Well, tell me first off, um, what was the inspiration for uh, treating employees well and customers well in general, and then also um, the inspiration for the creation of Zappos Insights? Yeah, it's, it can be a very long story, but really ultimately our CEO, Tony Shea, started a business back in the late 90s called Link Exchange. Mm -hmm. And as Link Exchange grew, it went from being a group of, of 10 friends hanging out and having a good time to a very corporate environment. Mm -hmm. When it reached 100 people, it was just like every other office. And, and as CEO, he didn't want to go into work. <laughs> so when he got involved years later with, with Zappos, um, it really was because the culture was treating people well. And um, really defining the culture was because he didn't want it to become corporate, to become something other than what we had as we were growing. Right. Then as we started to be looked at as a thought leader because of the way we approach culture and have it as a focus, more people started asking about culture and how, how do we take our own approach to culture. Mm. And so we've developed Zappos Insights to share what we've been doing, what's worked and what hasn't worked, mm -hmm. and the approach that we take to culture, how it drives your brand, how it drives your service, and, and really how treating people right, whether they're employees or customers, is the right thing for any business to do. Great. That's great. Um, so tell me, what are some of the things that Zappos does that treat its employees well and people in general well? For the employees, we've got just a, a really great benefits package. Mm -hmm. the medical, dental, and vision, 100% of that premium is covered by Zappos. Um, the environment, as you've seen a bit on the tour here, um, really is that you get to be yourself. Right. And we work really hard. The, the work is very important. Mm -hmm. But it's huge when you let people just kind of maybe blow off steam or express who they are throughout the day. Mm -hmm. uh, so internally, that's pretty easy. When it comes to the customers, it's all about a great experience. Mm -hmm. Whether that's the selection on, on the site, whether it's the ease of finding the products, hopefully the search works really well, mm -hmm. and and. It, or if you place the order, it's getting the shoes faster than you expected. Right. Uh, having a, a no a no worries return policy and things like that. And we just want to make sure that internally and externally, we're doing our best to make it an experience for everybody. Great. So I know a lot of organizations are kind of struggling with this. Um, do you happen to have any advice for organizations that want to do something similar and, and treat people well in general and all that? Yeah, I think it comes down to kind of getting to the heart of what is culture. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, culture isn't about process. And a lot of people will tie it into process. It's right. how we do things. Mm -hmm. There's actually a step that I think is more important. It's who we are. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we've defined who we are, our 10 core values. They don't say anything about how we do right. what we do. It's about defining that big step. Who are we as a brand and as the people that make up the company? And if we can be true to that and commit to that, then it'll inform and guide how we do what we do and ultimately point us to why we're doing what we do. And that's get to your higher purpose. So my number one piece of advice for businesses is think about your higher purpose. Mm -hmm. Very few businesses started just to make money. Right. There was a need or a pain point that sparked the business that could also make money. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that and align around, this is who we are and this is why we're doing what we're doing. Great. Sounds good. So my last question for you is, what do you think we as individuals and organizations can start doing or do more of to treat people well? So I, I think it's even just open up the conversation. Before you start doing anything, ask people what's working and ask people right. what's not working. And, you know, all too often I think things come from the top because the top thinks they know what's right. But ultimately the people who are doing the work and working together are the ones who really know what's needed. And so if you can just have that conversation to figure out where there's friction and can we alleviate that friction, does it make sense? Mm -hmm. And where there's great stuff already happening, can we make that more of a focus? Can we drive that so that everybody really gets on board and then starts driving the right change? And it's not about doing specifically, it's about making doing a possibility. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was really great. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more or to get involved, check out the links below. Uh, thanks so much for your time, and I'll see you next time. Bye. 
Hi, I'm Grace. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is actually the very first episode of The Grace Show. The goal of the show is to inspire organizations and individuals to treat others well by showing what they do and making it easy for others to do the same. So for every episode, there'll be links in the description part of the page to learn more or to get involved to make this world a better place to live. If you know of anyone who should be on the show, please send me a message and please help support by sharing this video with other people people, your friends, your family, your coworkers, even your HR counterparts if you like. And subscribe if you want to see future episodes as well. Thank you so much.